Welcome to Miss Martha Reed's Story Time. I'm Miss Martha, and I'm so happy that you are joining me today. I have a brand new winning story from WHRO's PBS Kids Writers Contest. Today's winning story is titled The Bunny Who Saved His Family. It was written by a second grader named Victoria from Norfolk, Virginia. Let's put on our good listening ears. Click, click, so that we can find out about this bunny. Once upon a time, there was a bunny named Barnaby. He had a mother and a younger twin brother and sister. His mother said, go pick some flowers for dinner. So he did and on his way, he brought a basket. When he was picking flowers, he found a hair tie. So he picked it up and put it in his basket. Then he found a balloon in a bush and he found pink flowers. He picked them and he put them all in his basket. Barnaby went home. His mother was sitting in a chair sewing. He handed her the flowers and she said, Thank you, Barnaby. A wolf, pretending to be Uncle Rabbit, called his mother and invited them to dinner. He said, bring something to eat. So the rabbit family took the flower soup. The wolf said, thank you for dinner, but the flowers are not enough to fill my tummy. So that's why I'm going to eat you. He then took off his costume. Barnaby quickly got the hair tie out and cut it, and it made a string. He blew up the balloon and put it on the string, and then he tied it to the basket. His family jumped in, and they blew away. They flew back home and ate their flower soup. They were saved. Ooh. The end.
Wow, that must have been some magical basket. But you know, there's something about this story that I really like. Barnaby was a wonderful helper. He helped his mother and his entire family. Friends, are you a helper? I sure hope so. It is really nice to help others whenever you can. That's something that I really like to do. I like being a helper. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, I always have to remind you to practice, practice, practice your reading every single day to exercise your brain because I want you to be the best reader that you can be. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope that I'll see you the next time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.